I'm just gonna cut right to the chase because I was thinking about doing like a witty fun intro but I'm going to see this movie on Tuesday and today is Sunday and I still have to make the entire dress so we're just gonna get started. Barbie screens in Belgium in regular theaters, the regular movie screens on the 19th of July, which is Wednesday, but I'm going to see the premiere on Tuesday and you get in theater entertainment, you get a snack and a drink and you get a goodie bag afterwards. So my boyfriend and I and my cousin, we bought those tickets to go and see the movie like before it screens regularly. And so we're all going in Barbie dress code, obviously. For my boyfriend, we're going for this Ken look just because it was the most attainable. At first I wanted to make him this look um, with the shirt, but we couldn't find any like fabric that had those colors and we don't have any time anymore. My cousin doesn't know what she's gonna do yet, but I'm gonna make the pink gingham dress. Honestly, it's like the only real dress dress that she's wearing in the trailer that's very attainable to make. And personally, I like, and also because I don't have that much time, I like this one more than this one. They have the exact same bodice, but this one has that cute little scalloped edge. It's rather short, so I'm gonna make it a little longer just so I can sit in the theater without showing everybody my underwear. We're gonna make the Barbie gingham dress. Okay, at first I was gonna look for a vintage pattern that kind of had that same look because it looks kind of 50-ish, especially the one with the long skirt, but that would take a while before it arrives and I'm not really good at reading vintage patterns because they're like super simplified um, and I need a lot of help when sewing, visual representation helps. So we went over to YouTube and on YouTube I found, I don't really don't know how you pronounce it, but her, she makes like super uh, girly girl dresses. She has like a, a wedding dress series. I think, yeah, I used to watch her sometimes like during the pandemic when I was getting into sewing, but she made that dress and thank God she has the same measurements as me. She's a lot taller than me. Um, she's 5'9", I think, and I'm 5'7", I think. I don't know, I measure myself in centimeters, not inches and feet. But she has the same bust circumference as I do, which is 32 inches, which is perfect because she sells patterns of her own but this one is just for the youtube video but she does she just gives you she cuts up the bodice piece and then she has every exact measurement that she has on there so i can copy it myself because i cannot i do not know how to draft a pattern right but she gives you this info so we're gonna just we're just gonna get into it let me show you the materials so we have a fabric store very close to me that usually sells everything you need sewing wise and so i was convinced i would find that perfect gingham over there but when i got to the shop they only had red and blue and brown gingham and all of it was really vintage looking like very um grainy and it was not very i don't know it was more like a tablecloth gingham and it was very it was the very very small gingham and I didn't think about it until then. I had in mind that the gingham was relatively small, but when I got to the store and I looked at the pitch, I was like, this gingham is actually like huge. And so at that point, I didn't have that much time. I didn't have time to go and look for other stores because there's not that many. And this is a really cheap store. So the gingham that I found that was closest was this. So it's the gingham is still too small, but it was the biggest that they had. Um, but on top of that, it is, I don't even know what fiber it is because it was actually misplaced in the store. I'm gonna try and show you, but it's super synthetic. I don't know if you can see, but it has the shine to it and you can kind of see the those lines, the fibers. It's really thin and synthetic and it's kind of like working with a satin where it moves a lot. So at first I was thinking about putting a lining in there so that I can sew this on top of a lining so it wouldn't move as much but honestly i'm gonna see how far i get with cutting out these pieces and sewing these together um, and then figure out if i have time to add lining if i have time left i can just make the lining out of this fabric as well um, it would be nice if i can make the big skirt but i honestly think the short one is cuter and so the only other thing I got was a long zipper. Invisible zippers are truly not my best friend, but we're gonna try and we're gonna rewatch that video of hers 50,000 times in order to get it done. So let's move over to my desk and get cutting and measuring. I'm not gonna bother you with having me rewatch that video 50,000 times in order to draw this correctly, but you're just gonna get a time lapse because that's much easier for you.
feel like this is pretty accurate. I have absolutely no idea, of course. As you can see, I did the darts incorrectly. I don't know, I did it wrong, right? I thought she was talking about this dart when she was talking about this one and whatever. She didn't give measurements for or how she did the curves up here. So I kind of did that by eye. So I hope that, I think this side looks more correct than this side. Like I might fold it in half and then just like trace this half, but I think the darts are correct. This took me a long time. So now we're gonna get on to the back piece. The back piece is smaller, so that should go by faster. I'm catching up on a lot of Rachel Maxi because I feel like the way she is struggling is the way I'm struggling. So that kind of helps, but I need to get a drink because I've only been drinking coffee, which is not hydrating. <laughs> So I struggled so much. As you can see, I drew on the back piece on the back of this paper first. That turned out to be all wrong. Apparently making a perfect rectangle is much harder than I thought. So I did this. It's correct now, I hope. Um, I did not cut out this little curve here and I did not make the curves here that sharp because I just, I don't know if they are supposed to match the other half which this is the front. The front is a lot bigger, uh, but these are the, the two pattern pieces that I need. And I hope they're correct because I'm gonna start pinning them on my fabric and then cutting it out. So I definitely hope this is gonna be okay. And if not, I'm gonna wear a malfitted dress to the premiere. I don't care. I don't care. It's just freehanding these like armpit curves and stuff that I'm scared of. So currently I'm, I'm uh, not cutting them that sharp just because you know, I can cut away extra fabric, but I cannot add fabric back on anyway Let's get to pinning I definitely think I have enough to cut out lining as well from this, but I don't think I I mean Apparently I'm really bad at visuals and I got way too much fabric But if I have time enough, I'm gonna cut out my lining from this fabric instead of a separate lining fabric. I've drawn the darts on here, here, here. This is the front piece. And then I have to do that with the lining as well, but I'm not gonna do that now. I'm just gonna work on the outside first. Um, the back piece is over there. I'm gonna grab that and do the darts and then probably move my sewing machine downstairs because it's just a lot cooler downstairs and I'm gonna get to sewing there. And then hopefully not lose my shit because this fabric is gonna move around so much. If you're watching a sewing video, you probably know what darts are for, but you basically use darts to shape it to your body. Like this is not a dart, but it helps it, the dress shape. So we're gonna add darts here and here so it fits the shape of your bust, basically. You're here to watch me struggle. So let's see how this turned out. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good dart. There you go, that's a dart. The gam is not gonna match up perfectly, but ooh, is that a hole? No, perfect. Darts roll done. I mean, it's not much yet. It's just one slab of fabric. There you go. Back piece, front piece with darts on either sides. Okay, so I actually figured out that I do need to make the lining for the top if I want my straps to look nice, and I do. Um, because you have to, you know, of course, sandwich the straps because they're spaghetti straps in between your two layers. Um, and so I'm just doing it anyway, because I already cut out the lining, so why not, you know? So we're doing that now, and then I'm gonna cut out the straps, and then um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna work on the skirt. I don't know if we're gonna get there, but uh, yeah. I'm excited. Actually working with this fabric is actually kind of nice because sometimes my darts 
they don't seem super symmetrical on either sides like sometimes one leg goes out more and i don't know if that's supposed to be the case but because it's so moldable the fabric it actually works out kind of nice i can kind of maneuver the fabric where it needs to go so that's great that is a nice dart that is a nice dart look at that <laughs> Here I pinned the lining and the outside fabric right to right side with the straps sandwiched in between. And I already sewed together the back and the front piece to make it one long continuous piece of cloth. Quick little update, I was just sewing downstairs, but you know, I was with my mom, so I was kind of awkward to film. But um, I sewed all of the straps onto the top or in between the two layers. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna do the skirt and because I don't think I'm gonna do a lining for the skirt, except if it doesn't look nice. Um, and I'm gonna do that in the morning. So then hopefully I will be done by noon or something like that. And then my cousin is staying over. Yeah, hopefully that'll work out. So I have to go fry some fries. From here on out, the quality of my video kind of goes downhill because my boyfriend was also staying over. So I didn't really feel like filming, but this is just a little clip that showed me talking to my mom while I was trying on the top. You can see that I left the sides open because that's where the zipper is gonna go um, after the top is connected to the skirt. And honestly, I thought this was so cute. I'm definitely gonna use this pattern for like future projects because the measurements were honestly kind of perfect. And I thought the gingham looked really nice just on its own. I would definitely not wear gingham or pink as like a serious outfit, but I thought just this top pattern could be like super cute. I don't know. So I did end up going with the longer skirt pattern just because it was eventually easier to sew than the short skirt. Um, and I like it a lot better. So for the long skirt, I cut out two long rectangles and sewed those together on either sides and then searched those with a zigzag stitch. Hello. Okay, it's day two um, and I got out of the shower and I've been working on the dress this morning, but I haven't been filming anything because my boyfriend is staying over and he's actually calling me right now. Hold on. So as I said, it's gonna be a couple of voiceovers because my boyfriend was staying over so I couldn't really film properly uh, with him present because you know we were talking and stuff like that and he called me at the moment when I was filming that clip and I don't even remember what I was gonna say. But as you can see, I made those, made those box pleats and I kind of tried to make them the same size but I did have to redo them so many times to get them to be the same length as the top so I could sew them together properly. Uh, me and my boyfriend were basically just, I don't know, he was on Reddit reading a couple of like random couples confessions, um, which was really entertaining, but we were both really tired um, as you can see on my face sometimes, but I was just taking it easy, sewing those box pleats on there took me a very, very long time. And I was also getting really frustrated at times. Maybe you'll hear that in the clips, I don't know. Hello again, no tripod. It is day two and I tried to film a little update while I was getting dressed, but that just didn't work out. I'm gonna show you how far I've gotten today. Um, so yesterday we left off with just the bodice and the four straps. Um, I did forget, however, to uh, close one of the side of the straps so that, you know, right now they look like this, right? So I still have to sew that shut. So now on the inside, it's just looking like this. I still have to put a zigzag stitch over it so it doesn't fray as much. Um, and actually it's not like you're going through a ton of layers because it's very synthetic and a light fabric. So it actually worked out pretty well. Um, it is really wide for now still. I wore it and it was kind of like a baby doll dress, which is not what we want, of course. Um, and she does have a belt in the original picture because we did go with the long skirt as you can see It's gonna narrow down a bit when I install the invisible zipper Although I'm very scared about invisible zippers and I don't know how I'm gonna do it And then all that's left for me to do is the zipper uh, Hem the bottom and serge the insides and then if it still remains really wide because she has that belt with the little buckle I don't have a buckle but I still have this much fabric left, so I can definitely make just a, a band, like a belt, 
and then maybe just like put a bow in the back so I can tighten it that way because I think that could be really cute uh, because in the beach version she has a bow right here so I couldn't do that but just on the long skirt. Okay, so still have no tripod. I'm too lazy to go find it. Don't look at my hair. It took me three tries to install the invisible zipper, but it's there. It's not that invisible, but it is really neat now, I think. It's really nice. If I could, or if I would be very serious about this dress, I would add a little like bra clippy here so that it's fully closed. Now, I think it's really nice. I think the box pleats came out really pretty. The top is not that straight. The back actually is really nice. It's a little high overall. I feel like it sits a little too high. It sits right below my ribs, whereas I feel like it should be a little lower, um, but I don't know if my straps are long enough to do that. But am I, uh, I don't know, I think, the armpits will allow it to be a little lower just because I feel like the smallest part of my waist is about an inch lower and that will be more flattering. It's, I thought it would be wider, which is good that it's not so that I can still add the little belt because I feel like, you know, if it's just a little tighter that gives this, the skirt part a little bit more of a poof, which I think is really nice. So those are the only things I have left to do. I still have to, I'm wearing shorts underneath. Hem the bottom, close up the straps, and then um, the little belt. Um, or I might just like add some string in the back because I actually quite like it just the way it is like this, that you can fully see the box pleats. But I'm gonna try and tie it a little looser to see if that looks any better, but I don't know. We're hemming the bottom. I am making the seam one square folded over another one. It's somewhere past, I need to stop doing this with my hand. It's somewhere past 10 p.m. and we're working on the, <gasps> is it not the same length? I thought I cut this the same length. We're making the belt, or the belt, the, the tie. But apparently it's not the right length or it's not the same length. But anyway, that's like the last thing I have to do. I mean, I kind of have to serge the inside or zigzag stitch because I don't have a serge for the inside, but that's gonna be like a last resort because I also last minute agree to another shift at work tomorrow. So that means I don't have any other time to finish it except for tonight. We're getting ready for Barbie, which means cutting my curtain bangs because as you can see, they're long. We're just gonna shorten this bit a little bit, I think. I don't know, I did my makeup this morning when I went to work. I don't wear a lot of makeup, so I might just add some extra foundation, but I have pink eyeshadow on, which I think looks nice. Um, and I'm gonna do like a pink lip or something. I'm gonna keep on these earrings, because I think they're nice, but I'm just gonna look up some tutorial on how I can trim these properly, because I really don't wanna mess them up. And then my cousin, she's gonna do my hair. Oh, and I have to sew that little bow that she has in her hair. We also have some like satin tape that I might use. I have this underneath, but it's way too long. But if it wasn't, wouldn't that have been perfect? Well, no, I'm not wearing it underneath. So it's just like this. I still think it's so cute. Look at it. My cousin did my hair, but she's still going to do the half up kind of thingy. And then we put the bow in with the bobby pin. Which is her necklace. I just don't know what purse to wear. 
I kept my makeup very toned down because I just don't want to make it bigger. <laughs> I'm back from the movie. I'm back from the movie. I'm talking quietly because my family is downstairs. Um, this is what's left of my hair. It's still very curly. I tried to comb out all the hairspray, but that didn't really work. But we're back. It's about midnight. Somewhere past midnight, maybe. It's five past midnight. It was really fun. Everybody was dressed pink. I didn't really film. 